And so we're here at the, the Hard Knot Fort, Roman Fort uh, in the Estadale Valley. If you're stationed here as a, as a Roman soldier and it's a morning like we have now when uh, the clouds are clearing, the, the sun is hitting Scaffold Pike, I think it's a perfectly natural human inclination to want to go scale the highest peak around. Um, I mean, I certainly feel that way. Uh, I think it's probably something that's innate to humans. Yeah, I mean, in, in America, I think uh, the image of a, of a fell runner from the Lake Districts here is, I mean, it's a very niche part of off-road running. And I think a lot of people in the States wouldn't even really know what fell running is, but I mean, it's something I've been aware of for years, uh, primarily through you know, legendary figures like, like Josh Naylor um, and objectives like the Bob Graham round. Uh, but I, I think of it as a very organic, pure, unfettered style of uh, racing and community and people getting together to compete against each other, but in a very communal way where it's like, we just want to go do something very natural, go charge up and down this hill um, and then maybe like, have a pint together afterwards and that's something that's I think anyone who gets into running can identify with that sentiment of wanting to uh, go have a hard effort in the hills and then you know be uh, be friendly afterwards. But, so what races are in this area here? Like You've got uh, the Langdale Fell race is probably the main one okay. which kind of does the I guess you can see like the, the skyline behind the pub uh, all the way round. Um, all right, so it hill. starts it starts down here in the valley. Yeah, it starts in the it starts just over there actually. Okay. So that's the road, right, right next yeah. to the pub, uh, and then your last peak is Pike of Blisco. Okay. Just here, and then you actually come down that sort of ridge line. You can see. Like the skyline on the right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's a grassy sort of ridge that drops down, and you follow that down, and then that comes brings you out to the the cattle grid where we were just now. Right, 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 okay. And you run down, cross the road there, and then head down to, nice. to finish. And so finish like, how, how long is that in terms of, like, I don't know. 14 okay. miles. Oh, it's 14 miles. It, it was miles. my it's longest long. ever half marathon. It took mm. me about three and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that kind of stuff, you know? And, Cause you know, I mean, just like here right now, what looks really nice, cause the sun's hitting it nicely, but it's like, oh, you can like, well, I'm gonna take that rib to that bit of grass and then take up that ramp and you know, where you going? I don't know, that's. <laughs>